Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can customize the title of an event on both the list of events as well as an individual event page in your Squarespace website. We're going to use just a little bit of CSS to change the color and the font style of these event titles. And as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below. But let's go ahead and hop into Squarespace so I can show you how to add these codes and what parts you're going to want to change to make it look amazing on your own website. So here we are in Squarespace and we're looking at a list of events. What we're going to be changing is this event title right here. So I'm going to navigate to Design and scroll down to Custom CSS. The selector or the code name for that title is event list dash title. So if we add that to our CSS and open up a curly bracket, we can start to make some changes. One of the first things you can do is change the color by adding the text color and then entering a web safe color name like purple or a hex color code. You'll notice nothing has changed because there's one other thing we need to do. We need to add exclamation point important. This tells the browser to pay attention to our code above any other code that it sees, and that's something we have to add to these event titles to make sure that our changes will go through. Let's go ahead and change the font size too. I'll add a semicolon and say font size, and let's go with 50px. Oops, and we'll spell size correctly. There we go. And we're going to add exclamation point important. And now our event titles are a much bigger size than they were before. You can even change the font family if you want to. Add a semicolon and say font family. I'll just go ahead and say serif. That's a web safe font name that I have here. That one will automatically update it, but if you don't see the change you wanna see, try adding exclamation point important. Now again, this is for the event list itself. I'm gonna go ahead and select save and we'll hop into an individual event and I'll show you how to change that title as well. If I click into this individual event, You'll notice the title is still the way that it was before. We need to change the selector. Instead of event list title, we can say event item title. And now it will get all those changes that we had, the color, the font size, and even the font family. Now let's say you want both of them to be exactly the same. I'll go ahead and press save and let's take a look. If we go back to all events, these have gone back to the way that they were, but what I can do is combine them and separate them with a comma. So if I add a comma after the first selector, and paste the second one, now it'll say event item dash title comma event list dash title and make those changes. We'll select save and let's look at an individual event. And there we go, now our titles match. Alrighty, those codes we just used are listed below. Just make sure you update the font style and the colors and use the correct selector if you're targeting the list of events or an individual event page itself. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel on YouTube because I post a brand new Squarespace tutorial every single week and I wanna make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're gonna love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.